Hello, I'm Tan the Tan BOTC channel, and today we're going to talk about two subjects, actually. Let's start with uh, Pro Jared, because uh, I'm going to go over that one a little bit more briefly, but I'll still go over it. Um, so Pro Jared had released a video, finally, <laughs> uh, going more in depth um, into things, ha providing evidence into what he's being called, the people involved, and more. And he points out a lot of good points. I, I actually watched somebody else's video talking about it um, before I watched his, just so I wouldn't give him views if he really is what people called him out to be. But it seems that for the most part he doesn't really do, he hasn't done anything illegal and he's debunked slash de disproven most of the stuff said about him. Though I do think the profession that he's in, if you can call it that, <laughs> uh, I wouldn't stick around for that. I wouldn't even bother being part of that in the first place if I were him. I would stay as far away from that, especially after a, a event like this. Um, I still don't know, like... That, oh, whoops. I need to get this door open. <laughs> it opens from the other side. Ah, crud, a centipede monster. But, uh, it seems he... he cleared out. He had some really, like, um... Why can't I break those with my stinking... I haven't played this in a while, so if you guys are wondering... <laughs> Uh, and I've been meaning to get back to this sometime for the channel. Me. Okay. Oh yeah, that's right, I changed the button to the grappling hook. Well, I'm gonna have to get used to that now. <laughs> so, it seemed, he had some pretty powerful stuff to say, even. Um, though he's not, he's still not known as the greatest husband with, uh, between his wife and Holly there, but... At least he's not the scumbag a lot of people, well, not a lot of people, but some made him out to be. Especially the ones he got to talking about in his uh, video. See you later, suckers! <laughs> but yeah, I hope he can get back to making some good video content. He's made, he's always made some of my favorite videos. Uh, my grandmother and and uh, me were always fond. Even my mother got into his content. They all really loved his his uh, show. I did have a stepfather who was an absolute scumbag and didn't like it, but I think he was mostly jealous that Pro Jared was cooler than him <laughs> uh, at the time. But yeah, it was just really sad to see uh, what happened. And hopefully he can get back on his feet. So... Um, basically, that's all I have to say about that part, but yeah, I, I'm still not sure what to say about, like, subscribing to him or supporting him, but it seems that a good chunk of what he did is not entirely, uh, true. Dink. <laughs> And, oh boy, I hate this part. Yeah, there's a mini-boss in here that's super annoying. Come over here. No, 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 no. You're coming over here. Nope, no, 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 no. Wait, what? Something's apparently... Oh, it's another lizard. Sorry. I gotta take y'all out. Nab it. So many gosh darn dogs. <laughs> so the main thing I actually wanted to talk about, and I wasn't sure how to approach this because it's... It's... Oh, crud, I'm poison great. <laughs> no. Dang it. Hopefully it wears off soon. Um, I'll just heal up after it. Or before, if it actually kills me. Which it might. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, but yeah, I didn't want to come across rude. It's kind of hard to come across rude with this one. Oh, my goodness. It's 
gonna kill me, isn't it? The heck? Wow, that lasts until my health bar is almost gone, or is gone. Jeez. Um, <laughs> this is a very colorful, nice-looking game. I love this game. But today we're going to talk about Jim, my boy. Jim Sterling. Now, I've stuck with... Me and my grandmother actually stuck with Jim Sterling since Slaughter and Grounds. Of course, they wouldn't notice. We were very... Minor. Oh, I didn't really. I didn't really actually have a big YouTube channel or even a YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is not very big to begin with, though. But um, as big as it is right now, in comparison to what I've seen of it, at least. But um, which isn't very big. Shut up. <laughs> but um, besides besides that, uh, whenever I'm passionate about something, say like when Mass Effect and Andromeda hit, I was like. I'm a gigantic fan of Mass Effect and Tra Mass Effect, not Dr Andromeda, and that hurt me <laughs> on a personal level. That game was probably the most disappointing game I've ever stayed and played. Um, and then hearing about Splinter Cell possibly, it's not proven true at all, uh, yet at least, possibly becoming a phone game there's no doubt I'm going to try and talk about that. That is a subject that will certainly be talked about. So like people like Yang Yi and such, I'm just talking about a something that gets me on a personal level that I feel needs talking about. And yes, Jim Sterling's certainly allowed to have his opinion, but this doesn't even feel like an opinion anymore. It kind of feels like the raving the just the raving of a uh, madman a lunatic trying to get a point across that really isn't worth it and is har doing more harm than good and it's also just uh untrue in the first place alone there's a couple of channels i can recommend i did recommend in the comments i'll get to that in a sec as well um that i wrote to it and it was, it was just quite an annoying video. My friend watched it before me and he told, he was cringing like crazy at it. <laughs> he was like, oh my gosh, this has got to be the stupidest thing I've seen. I didn't even see it until he realized it. Was, and when I heard and saw the title and just the thumbnail alone, I knew I was in for something. And... Oh my goodness, if editing doesn't give it away alone, especially the part where he's banging his dang helmet with a butter knife and sticking on the screen, pol games are political all over the place. He has a couple of points in it that he does bring out, and it's like he almost gets close to the truth, but then he just gets so far away from it. Like, I think he brings out, and he's talking in general gaming, but he's using Dark Souls as the uh, main title that he wants to discuss this with. He's done this in another video I actually don't find that great, and there's a lot of YouTubers that have de debunked it uh, plentiful of times, uh, being that of of uh, the like apolitical division video. There's just a lot of hypocritical stuff there, uh, especially in the message I'm, messages I'm about to get to. But yeah, there's a there's been a lot of a lot of problems going on. Let's just take care of these guys. I hate stinking monks. Dink. But uh, um, yeah, it's it was hard to watch that video for me. I don't know how it is for other people, but I felt it was really hard to watch. I even went to the point of like saying to myself, how could people look at this and not see through what he's uh, what he's doing? The kind of... the things he's saying, the kind of manipulation. Because clearly with a title like that and what he talks about in the video, it clearly feels like he's trying to push something. And he's trying to make it definitive. Who knows, he might do this to more games. And this will get to be more repetitive than his actual videos that do 
have meaning to them and are strong. Microtransactions are st are a real problem. Um, and yes, politics, there are problems within politics, but he's not talking about problems within politics. He's talking about politics being in a fictional game. Prominently featured in a fictional game. He's not talking about it as a source of, like, it's bad for our society or anything. Though he probably looks at it definitely that way. I don't know. <laughs> and I have my opinion. A lot of people... I'm not the only one who's made a video that would talk about somebody else's video. I can think of a ton off my mind. I know Dishonored Wolf used to do that. I know Rags does it. Um, there's tons of YouTubers. A couple of the ones I sent in the messages below to this comment that was... these comments that were sent are, are a couple that I can think of. But yeah, there's a bunch that I can think of off the bat. I'm not the only one that's done these kind of debunking or talking about or reply to videos. And this is also not my only reply to video, uh, if you can call it that. I... It just ruins the game for me. Y you have to dig deep for that stuff, and since someone like uh, Vadi Vidya has to just dig and do research alone on the lore, as well as I even did some lore for my channel, but kind of gave up on it because I was like, uh, it's not meant for me, even though I'm getting views, it's not really meant for me. But I, I enjoyed it. <laughs> and I, I did go deep into it, but... Yeah, it's just, it really goes deep, and I brought out some good points. Let me actually bring them up here. Sorry that I'm just kind of running around. I'm just kind of padding time while I talk so that I can stick and get out what I want to say. Because I'm not very good with trying to, trying to focus on playing a game like this especially. But I wanted to use a game that was a From Software game. Also, ask yourself, does, um... Hidetaka Miyazaki really care about politics in his game, to be honest. It just really does come across. And this, I'm not the only one that has a comment like this. I even brought that out. I brought out how this video hurt me personally. Uh, to watch it was sad. The title and thumbnail, I'm reading it off right now, feel forced. It comes across negative and cynical, but uh, for the wrong reasons. It doesn't feel like it's trying to get a good point across, like something that will be helpful to people to stay away, say, from microtransactions, loot boxes and such when used in a harmful way, as well as these evil companies and some of the stupid things they say and do to manipulate their fan bases and such and just uh, their customers in general. So, and of course I brought out most of his videos are uh, cynical. <laughs> Most of his videos are cynical. Uh, he actually said something silly once where he's like, there's too many cynical uh, negative YouTubers on YouTube. Kind of a hypocrite saying that, Jim. I can't remember where he said that. It was in a... It was a message, I think, on Twitter that he sent to someone. And it might have been related to the Vox thing, but I'm not going to talk about the Vox thing because I don't want to. And I, once again, I don't like talk about this kind of stuff, so just the fact that Jim Sterling is bringing it up, and especially towards one of my ga favorite games of all time, along with his, because I know how passionate he is about it. He's talked about it in a previous video when he had to talk about uh, the remaster of Dark Souls. And it's really sad to see it come to this. I mean, I brought out how, like, uh, my friend actually helped me with a couple of these points, too. Uh, Minesweeper isn't political. You would say it's like a anti-war game. That's kind of what my friend brought out. But he said that, um, you, you would say that it's an anti-war game, but it's just presenting a experience. The different experiences at each game. And they're fictional as well. You need to kind of know the levels of fiction <laughs> where that comes in. Um, but there are already plenty of YouTubers that already debunk this stuff. There's always going to be those YouTubers. Uh, without... Uh, it can be presented... 
because because such a political situation can be presented without sending a message sending the message shut up joker uh sometimes it sometimes it ain't all right to look so deep and deep or went too far with with um I'm guessing slaughtering grounds this is also a political message too. I point out too that there that I use jokes. I know people are going to be easily offended by things, so I made sure to say that. And it's my opinion, so I kind of had to clarify things, and that was just kind of silly that I had to do that because then speak of the devil, which I also <laughs> pretty much say, um, somebody called I don't know if I want to say their name. Uh, but somebody did comment on my, yeah, my, on my, uh, message. They said how it hurts your favorite game. You beeping a snowflake. First off, I don't think of myself as a snowflake or whatever. I know the age range. I really don't care. And I honestly don't give a crud. <laughs> I think it sounds silly, to be honest. Learn, and the way he uses it, too, and I'm going to debug his messages, is in an insulting, rude way. So there are some messages of mine edited to make them uh, shorter or to, well, some of them at least. Some of them are longer uh, because I had some stuff to say. Usually when I want, st I have something to say, I say it because, or I'm going to lose it. I have bad memory, <laughs> and that's kind of how I go. I just kind of throw things out there. I'm basically like the merc with the mouth sometimes. Sometimes I'll just go completely blank <laughs> and not have anything. But, um, so learn to accept other people's opinions, you thick beep. Of course, this is already, <laughs> I'm just peeping out. I, I don't really swear myself. I mean, I'll say like crap and such. But that's about it. <laughs> um, but this this already is wrong, and I actually touched on a message that was insulting me before on my own channel, uh, where somebody did a similar thing, and I pointed them out that they shouldn't be rude. And guess what? They went and watched the video so they could be sure that what they were saying wasn't out of context. In this case, it's not the same deal because they don't have a video other than gyms which has no real attachment to the insult itself and how that was delivered uh i even brought out like uh let's see i brought out speaking of which which to kind of retort what he's doing right now because of what i said in the previous comment uh, about people being offended and striking back at you um I said I recommend Ace1918. He has a really good video. Video. Um, you could still have opinion and be wrong, but this is reaching, and this is my opinion as well. You're being a bit hypocritical of your own comment. I can still accept it and share my own as well as disagree. Aren't we allowed to accept that? I used an example once on this that gets the point across. And that's kind of what I said just now. Somebody um, uh, was being rude on my channel. I used an example like what if you have a friend who is who has a different opinion from you. So how do you approach the situation, I said. Do you approach it by being a complete scumbag to the person and saying, your opinion's not allowed, mine's the only one that's right, and you should accept it. Do you approach it like that? Uh, of course, he wouldn't know uh, reading this, because I didn't think I'd write that down. I probably should have, but once again, I kind of forgot it in the moment. Um, but when it comes... Oh, uh, this is kind of why I don't do this usually. <laughs> but, um, and I have this uh, have this all written down, but this is the part that I'm trying to dig out of my mind is the part that it's like, it's not written down for me, so I'm just trying to kind of figure it out and pull it back. This is a beautiful game. <laughs> I can't help obsess over that. It's so colorful. The oranges, greens, yellows, you got it all. I love this game. This is going to be on my top 10 list. I should make a video on that, by the way. I'm going to talk about what games are going to be on my top 10 games of the year. So, and I need to get used to this game. 
or would you approach the situation, just remembered it, uh, where you'd say, I don't agree with your opinion, but I accept it. So you don't have to agree with the opinion. And you can still point out your point. There's, there's interesting things that come out of that. People have different opinions from one another. And it's interesting to hear what they have to say, isn't there? There was something I brought out about uh, AVGN's video on top movie, 10 movies he he hates but nobody but everybody else likes. Uh, where he said it's cool to hear different sides of the story or different people's uh, opinions. This is the same here. It's really not much different. Next, um, and I do feel like someone like Jim, especially with the journalists that he's, he's hanging out with and such, and just how they've been acting towards fans and crit all sorts of people, um, I said sadly with the way Jim's going in his videos, uh, it'd be more likely he doesn't want you to have an opinion, but who knows, that's just what I thought. And I had a pretty good point to show how flawed it was. It's that simple. I don't have to talk this much about it. But I choose to. As the merc with the mouth, and I make the joke there. But I guess you can't, you can't win everything. Of course, uh, what is winning? I did actually like think of that when, with uh, Epic Rap Battles line. It's true. What is winning? <laughs> It's kind of nothing now. Also, I thought you were... And I told this guy, I thought this guy was going to bring out the point more about the opinion. He dropped it. And then he just continued insulting me. And he questioned my age. So I'm going to say my age here. I'm uh, 27. So that you know. But he, he, he asked my age. Of course, I, uh, point, I talked about that. But he dropped the opinion thing. Which is interesting because that means I was right, that, or he's just ignoring that part. Because he doesn't want to read the whole thing, which is kind of the same situation as the guy that was also being a jerk on my channel. Who didn't watch my video and get the full context of the situation. I make mistakes. We all make mistakes. And of course I'm going to make mistakes. Even in these comments. That doesn't call for you to be rude, and therefore, what we're about to get to that's so hypocritical, childish. He was calling me childish a bunch. Um, so I brought out... Whoops. I mostly edited some of these because I had some spelling errors. I had, like, slaughter grounds, and I, I need to fix that and change it to slaughtering grounds. But I also wanted to add stuff. Because I was thinking of more stuff off the top of my head as I was going. But I know the guy probably won't read any of it. And I'm also sorry if this video is too long. Uh, the title and thumbnail I brought out of the video is obviously forced alone, not even counting what's said. He's got a sticking frame with Donald Trump's wig on it. And then video games is political all over the dang screen. Probably one of the worst thumbnails I've seen. Um... I really don't care about Trump, to be honest. But that is dumb, and it kind of is insulting to Frampt. I love Frampt, even though he may be evil and wants you to burn. <laughs> um, and I also brought out how calling me a snowflake comes across more like a childish insult. So take that... Take, so take... What? That's... Oh, oh, take that s stuff elsewhere. Just like you're you're telling me I'm not allowed an opinion. Uh, once again, I say hypocritical again. <laughs> also, I have un have enough people like that to me uh, who treat me like that on my Shenmue video and a couple other stuff. Uh, my Vulture and video I also bring up because they were mad about my cosplay in that, uh, which was pretty stupid but they but here's the part that i bring out at least they they soon after gave up or and apologized and not so much give up like ha i win no no uh they gave up the childish charade more like it now i feel like i need to write another bit so that makes more sense you see what i'm saying here <laughs> Some of this stuff is just like, I have to stick and even correct myself in some parts. 
but um, they apologized. They were nice, and they were able to see through the problems they had and what they, they did. So, some of them I can't fault, but others are kind of silly. <laughs> Um, I talk about how forgetful I can get, and I like to really get stuff out there. I talk about the mistakes part. We all make mistakes. I also brought out, also, if you had a favorite game that was ruined, how would you feel? Probably how you reacted to my comment, which is his anger. Which is the part of his child nature. He even kind of talks about this later, and I will say that, okay, props to you. But it feels kind of like one of the comments that aren't mine, where it says um, something like, um, you're so close, but you're so far from the truth, or just from getting the point across, that it just kind of goes over their head. And it's kind of the same situation here. It's like, it's like he says something that is decently smart and acknowledges a problem either with my comment or his or what's this whole situation in general but then he just goes off and basically ruins it by insulting again <laughs> basically destroying his own argument then he asks what are you 13 my age I should have probably joked around level no I'm not level 13 level 50 <laughs> um but uh, I do think that I shouldn't have said s some of the stuff I did in my first comment. Because uh, it could be taken as... I brought out also, I've been with uh, Jim Sterling since Slaughter and Grounds situation. But that's how I felt as an opinion. I have really felt that way. And yes, harsh, but so are you. <laughs> because he is. He's being harsh. Uh, I also said he's being a bit creepy about that weird, um, saying my age, asking my age, uh, saying everything is political or religious or anything is already false on its own standing. I also recommend, um, it's a little bit more harsh, and I even say this in the comment, uh, Darren Kern, who brought out a comment, but he is a lot more cynical and harsh than Jim Sterling is. So, but I can't deny the points that he brings out because they are still pretty good. Like alone, just the point he brought out about like, what, is my fingernails political? <laughs> Saying everything's political. It already, it already gets disproven. He also brings out how political stuff does age something more and it doesn't become timeless, kind of like other movies. It kind of ruins the timeless, any kind of timeless feel it could have. Any everlasting feel. I said, does it matter my age? Also a bit creepy. Sorry that I'm not doing much. <laughs> but, um, I'm playing with one hand now. <laughs> While I'm sticking, holding this and reading. I should really have, like, just footage running in the background so you guys just, like... Aren't like, ah, oh, Tam can't stick it. Get footage of the background. He sucks at this. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I didn't... <laughs> I didn't think about that. But I kind of, like, wanted to get this out of there. Um, so then, his is, this one's probably the rudest of all his messages. He says, you're a beeping kid. I'm sorry I get carried away. Of course you do. Which is ironic, because you're also being a kid, coming back and forth, coming back and forth. I point this out in my last comment. Uh, and I point out another thing he actually says. I actually didn't read his last part, though. But he says, you're a kid, I'm sorry I get carried away. You have the right to be stupid. That right, not good. Already making yourself look like a jerk. Not very nice. And it's a good thing I'm not saying what your name is uh, for a couple of reasons. One, I don't want to ruin your name. And two, you're a jerk. <laughs> uh, just don't be like that into your adulthood. I'm 27. 
read more and don't watch too much YouTube videos. Um, what are you doing here, sir? How'd you find my comment? Watching a YouTube video. Do you see what this hypocritical part is? <laughs> I mean, he says too much YouTube videos, but it, it really doesn't make a difference. He's calling... Trying to call me out for watching too many YouTube videos. He doesn't know that. I make stinking YouTube videos as well. It's your problem. I kind of have to be on YouTube, too. If I got my own channel to manage, what the heck? But once again, it's a thing where he just ignores that. Eat your vegetables, because he thinks I'm a, such a kid. Have some friends. I do go check him out at Group DM uh, Media. And also go to Doc Dave Media Cave. I'm glad I finally remembered that. I have other friends, but they don't have YouTube channels. And I actually have a ton of friends on both my consoles. <laughs> so I'm glad for that. They're all very nice. I do have some problems and with some of the friends, but besides that, we fix it and sort it over. It's just little things here and there, little silly things. Once again, we're all... We all have problems in our lives. We all do stupid things. So there's no doubting that, as well as anything I do here. <laughs> and then I, I even point this out, how random some of the stuff he says. And of course he's not going to reply to this because he says at the very end of this message, Peace out. But he says, Women are not your enemy. Why does he think I'm like some sort of anti... I don't even know what he thinks, to be honest. It's stupid. It's just out of nowhere. Nothing I said gets across, and I also bring out things on that stinking message. Once again, being rude, I say, hey, you're the one coming out harassing me, so I have the right to that. You're not worth my time. He literally, if, uh, here's the thing, if somebody's going to be harassing you and bullying you like this, that's true. They're not worth your time. Don't bother with them. Though you, once again, I could be hypocritical of that. I'm not denying that. But what's, like I said, I kind of get carried away too. Just like he said too. Um, and I like go through it, I try to fix any mistakes I may have made. And stuff like that. But besides that, I want to get it across clear. I even talk about, I'll get to it in just a sec actually. Um, you're not worth my time when you in when insults is all you got in the end. It's more mature to walk away from that rather than being the one who's attacking. Especially when I'm honest and p I meant to say passionate, but I have it auto-corrected me the patient, but I don't want to change it and I guess patient works too. <laughs> About this stuff. And don't want it to come across come to that, or come across the wrong way, as I'm trying to say. The fact that if I seem that way to you, why are you still being hypocritical of that, of the childish part? Uh, that too wouldn't, wouldn't that make you no different? When it comes to childish parts, just saying, and that's where I point that, that, that out, I'm talking about childish parts. If you meant what you said, then you wouldn't have even bothered basically saying that. You're unable to, or saying anything in general, even doing what he just did. To let it go either being a back and forth, because really what I'm saying too, my first message, this wouldn't have gone this far if he just left my first message alone and not be a jerk. And I like to go far sometimes. I will defend my points. <laughs> Uh, but I don't want them to come across as a attack or anything. So, bothered basically saying that you're unable to let it go, either being a back and forth childish argument, how ironic this all is, except the woman part, which is what I pointed out. What made you even say that 
weird and random. Some of the stuff you said actually was kind of random and made little sense to the comments I do, I said, and the comments at time. They, they had no, they didn't really intertwine with the comments at all. They just felt out of nowhere. It was really weird. Does that have something to do with the video? I don't remember anything like that in the video. If it was, it must have sticking across my mind. <laughs> that sticking entire video across my mind, to be honest. <laughs> um, but it did upset me. That's why I'm making this video. Kind of random, made it just pull it. I do. Ap I said I apologize. I do apologize for anything that may have came across the wrong way. I always do this because I'm that kind of person where it's like, even if I do actually like say some really harsh stuff, I'll just apologize anyways. I'm Canadian. No. <laughs> uh, but um, take it the wrong way. And sure, maybe I am a child, but I'd rather be a child at heart than personality. And I'd rather not be known for being nasty and or rude. Also, a child wouldn't have come up with all of this. Uh, and just in case you retort that, neither someone dumb or a baby. <laughs> just in case he did stay and say that next as a childish way of coming back. I felt like he would. Uh, but have a awesome day nonetheless, which is my motto, and I always stick and say that now. Uh, it's probably not really my motto, to be honest, but I say it a lot. Also, kind of funny, the reading part, my most popular series on my channel is the Read Along, which has a thou over a thousand views. It was originally a Versus video, but sadly, after a glitch that happened to my channel, a copyright glitch, it got deleted. Some of the videos are the start of my channel, and my favorite book, and I want to read this for my channel, is Red Branch by Morgan Llewellyn. Uh, want to read it? I want to read it for the channel sometime. Uh, I guess that answers one or two parts of your message. For you also check, also, for you also check out my friends, I say. Enough said, to kind of quote Stan Lee, because I love Stan Lee. That's basically all I said. I did report him. And I disliked his comments. Uh, I see there's some more likes and such here. But, yeah. I... Oh. He's probably the rudest and the one that came back the most. Because I've... I've never had that with the other people, and I would have a reply to the other people. But it'd come across more as a discussion rather than an argument. And I will say, this guy ticked me off. Definitely. But, he's not worth it. But then again, you could argue that I'm being hypocritical because I'm bringing him up, but not by name. So, there. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Uh, but no, that, that just came across the wrong way. I wanted to debunk it a little bit, but bring out a couple other things about it too. I don't want to come across in the wrong way. He also edited his comments, if you're wondering, too. It says his last one was edited especially. I don't think he needs to edit the other ones because they're so simple and short. But the last one especially he, he edited. And it just came, they all came out bad in the first place because they were all used more to insult. Rather... <laughs> rather than anything else. So I hope you guys enjoyed. This stinking controller is dying. I should get to my... And charge it. <laughs> it keeps dying, help me. Let's plug this in real quick. All right, I hope the audio is fine. Why do I have blood on my head? <laughs> I'm just realizing that now. Looks more like paint, actually. Kind of looks orange, too. Some of it, at least. It blends in with my orange, stinking uh, robe or whatever. <laughs> 
but I hope you guys enjoyed. And I, like, a game like Dark Souls isn't for everyone, of course. And there are other games like that. I don't agree with the difficulty thing that Jim Sterling was also saying. I think Dave Klein of the Dave Control channel uh, went over it much better. I think if you're going to check out something on that, you'd rather check him out. And technically, I am kind of promoting Jim Sterling, even though I hated his video. <laughs> um, but it was, it was a joy, it was, oh, I shouldn't even say enjoy, but it was dumb. <laughs> I think it's the worst video of Jim Sterling's. I don't think it was worth his time to make that video. I think he would have been better off with a different video. But yeah, the the video was all the same cynical and r rude, like cynical and not rude, but just more aggressive. But um, the reason it's a problem is it's not for a good reason. It's not to go up against something, say, like microtransactions that can actually harm uh, people, um, especially the things that they... The, these companies say or do um, and how they try to affect even people with gambling issues that that kind of stuff tries to promote and push further uh, into being bigger problems so it's it, as well as their sneaking wallets are, are at stake Dark Souls and pol politics don't really mix together as well as it's really out of place out of character even for Jim in some ways I know he's been kind of slowly building it up on, like, his social media pages and such, but it just kind of feels out of place when you just take the channel alone in context. It's just like, where is this coming from? And this, just seeing this video, I was just like, that's almost as bad as Spl hearing Splinter Cell <laughs> is a mobile game. Like, the name of the video alone told me something was wrong. <laughs> or something was going on with Jim that just didn't feel right. And I'm not saying that he's wrong. I'm saying how he's approaching it is wrong. So I don't want it to come across the wrong way. I also do, once again, as I usually do, apologize for anything that does come across the wrong way. I know that won't always work, but I do it anyways. Because I'm Canadian, I'm just kidding once again. I probably shouldn't even use that joke. But, um, yeah, I... I hate talking about this stuff. And the reason I talk about this was I'm passionate about Dark Souls. So to see this just... It stings, man. But it doesn't hurt to the degree this guy thought it was trying to hurt me. Because it's just one video on YouTube... Uh, this guy was obviously like, like oh boo hoo, your game staking sucks because he is attacking it. Even though there are a big fan base for Dark Souls, and it really isn't that big of an effect. And Jim Sterling still loves the game, but this affects it in such a negative way that just doesn't count. And I don't think Hidetaka Miyazaki honestly cares about this, to be honest. He's got such a private life, he, he didn't even care about the difficulty thing, so I'm pretty sure he wouldn't care about this either. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry this was so long. Uh, there was a lot to go into, and I hope that you uh, do subscribe, and when you do, hit the little bell for your notifications to keep up to date. I got tons of Keeping Demos Alive videos coming. I have the Metro series now that I finally got the games downloaded. I'm ready to play them for the channel. There's also new DLC for the Metro Exodus that I'll be doing for the channel and more and hopefully get to my more popular series that are known on the channel like Is It With Your Memory, Read Along, and the Maldron series. So hopefully I can get to those and even some more or more original new content or funny comedic content. Who knows? But I hope that none of that stuff came across the wrong way or nothing went the wrong direction. And Jim Sterling, as well as Angry Joe, are like usually the first YouTubers I pop on and see. Like, Angry Joe is probably over Jim Sterling. I'm like, oh, I gotta see what Angry Joe's got. And I just pull him up immediately. <laughs> And then I'm like, gotta see what Jim Starling's got. Pulling him up next. <laughs> but nowadays, this video kind of confirmed that there's 
there's just something a little iffy in Jim Sterling's head, and hopefully he can he clear something up. Uh, or figure out, like, what he's doing is, isn't entirely good for his channel, or isn't entirely good for gaming, because we come here to hear things about games and not things about political stuff in games. It was more focused on the politics rather than the games. Uh, even, once again, the title comes across that way. So, I don't know what to say. It's hard to talk about this without it coming across negative itself. But then again, when has Jim Sterling been super positive about anything? Like, he, of course he's been positive, but most his content is built off of uh, negativity and being cynical. But it's not bad negativity, it just comes across cynical and negative. Because the things he has to talk about is negative and cynical. But this is the other way around, he's making something that wouldn't otherwise be negative into something negative. That's all I have to say. Bye guys!